What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Luke Trevisi, with a solo SUP podcast. Uh, I wanted to give the viewers uh, a nice little Christmas present. Um, so I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a bonus episode. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to do for this bonus episode. Uh, to be honest, I think, I don't know, man. I'm probably going to go through Depop, which is a, for those who don't know, a website where you can basically go online thrifting. Basically, people open up stores kind of like eBay or anything like that. And uh, I'm going to go through and find uh, some Christmas sweaters, give you a little commentary on them, what I think of them. Uh, and then we'll see if we buy anything. We're not going to buy anything. I am too poor. Yeah. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do, open up my screen. Bong. Screen share. See, I already looked up the Christmas sweaters. And uh, there's a couple things that catch my eye. Boom. Look at this one right here. Let's get lit. Let's get lit a Christmas sweater. And they are charging $20 for it. Retails for 30 Should have retailed for 5 bucks, people. God, this is a garbage Christmas sweater. If you wear this Christmas sweater to a family function, just know that three months later, probably in March, um, they're going to sit you down for an intervention. Nothing says I'm more of an alcoholic than let's get lit in Christmas sweater form. Don't like this one, boys. Don't like this one. Berry Christmas. Damn. Okay. 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 Vintage Lee Heavyweights Berry Christmas Men's Sweater. $15. A little bit more of a fair price, I got to be honest with you. Um, God, I wish it didn't say Berry Christmas. If it just said Merry Christmas with that uh, teddy bear with the Santa hat, I'd be, I'd be in. I'd be in. Because this, this, uh, this little bear reminds me of a bear I used to own when I was a little boy for Christmas time. Uh, one of my uh, alcoholic uncles who would be wearing a It's Lit, uh, Let's Get Lit Christmas sweater. Uh, he gave me one of these. He was just like, here, here you go. This is, this is for you. Damn, $15. Not bad. Not great either. Has some flaws. What's this one say? I got hoes in different area codes. Fuck yeah, baby. This is the sweater for me. It is a large, a Gildan large, $20. Um, I think the first thing that I saw was the green. That's a nice green. That's a dark green. Super comfy. Funny vintage Christmas sweater. Uh, you can't, w I, I don't know where I would wear this, though. That's the problem. Like, you know, th this would have been a great sweater in 1998. Maybe early 2000s, 2004, you could wear this. 98 to 2004, you could wear this Christmas sweater. Nowadays, I mean, you're going to get talked to. That's just, you're just going to get sat down and talked to like any other of these shitty Christmas sweaters. You're, you're going to be, they're going to be like, hey, Uncle Luke, you can't be wearing shit like that. That's, that's offensive and problematic. I didn't ask for problematic Christmas sweaters. Why are they giving me so many? But that's a nice green. If it was $10, maybe. Maybe I would get it. Which one? Absolutely amazing vintage brown, red, and blue Christmas style knit pullover. See, I, I like that it's a knit. That's kind of cool. Mm. Interesting. Oh, what's this? A Mickey Mouse one? Classic. $45. $40. I don't know what it is about Disney fans. About Disney fans. It's they will buy anything with the mouse's face on it. And they'll they'll pay $50, $60 for it. Now, if you're an audio listener, there's stains all over this sweater. Just little stains, coffee stains. Um you know, for some, it would, uh, I would characterize it as, you know, worn, you know, there's, there's stains you get when you're, when you're wearing a white sweater with Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse on it. Uh, good graphic though. Wouldn't pay $40 for it. If this was like, 
15 bucks, maybe, maybe I would get it. But even then, I don't want, I don't know if I want to wear a sweater with somebody else's coffee stains on it. Cause you know that like that tells you like the person who owned this before is fucking up. And maybe that like weird fuck up energy is, is going to be passed on to you and you're paying $40 for it, bro. You are super fucking up. You're already off, off the rip fucking up. Hmm. Oh, fuck. Yes. Travis Scott fans eat your fucking heart out. A men's PlayStation ugly Christmas sweater, 100% authentic because, you know, where the fuck, you know, who's who's making a fake PlayStation Christmas sweater? It's wow. You know, he, they're right. Oh, wow. The back has some uh, Japanese lettering, which I assume says Sony or PlayStation on it. And then the year 94. God, this looks worn. Not a bad sweater, though, I will say. Not a bad sweat. Maybe get this one for your your weeb friends. That's a good one. Maybe get if you, if you're friends with Travis Scott, this is the sweater you get him for that year. Okay. Ooh, bong. Another fucking drinking problem. Christmas sweater. A Corona fucking Christmas sweater. I'm not talking about Corona the virus. I'm talking about Corona the beers. Bong, a little bit of blue, a little bit of yellow, palm trees with with Christmas lights in them, because nothing says you're more trashy than a, a Christmas lights on a palm tree. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And you don't live in a warm climate. I should add that you don't live in a warm climate because you, you put up Christmas lights on your on your palm trees and you live in like, I don't know, somewhere warm, maybe in South America. Is that where palm trees are from? I would say, you know, kudos to you. You're doing a good job. You did your best. You know, you worked with what you had and you made something great. Congratulations. This sweater, though, is just for trashy people. I feel like most of these sweaters, I mean, most Christmas sweaters are for the more trashy audience. Coca-Cola Christmas sweater. Nothing goes together well like uh, Coca-Cola and Christmas. These two things are uh, go hand in hand you've seen all those commercials with the polar bear and they're like I, I remember there was one where like the polar bears are like sliding down a hill on a sleigh and then and then they drink coke i mean i could literally say that about any coca-cola commercial during christmas i could literally just be like yeah there's just like bears and then they have like they go to divorce court and then when they're done with divorce court they have a coke you know, I feel like they're all the same. And you'd probably nod your head and go like, yeah, that's that sounds about right. Let's see. I don't know if you guys got any good Christmas stories. You know, let us know. We got them in the discord. Link's going to be in the bio. I hope I actually don't know how this is going to be released. Um, Not going to really worry about that, though. Whoa, a T-Rex Christmas sweater? Dude, 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 a T-Rex Christmas sweater, unbranded, boom, unbranded, probably an H&M sweater if I have to be honest. Oh, wow, look at that. That is, this is peak design, people. There, so basically, uh, for the audio listeners, which, I, you know, what are you doing? Get on the YouTube. This is a, this is a very visual episode. Um, so we've got right here, we've got like a, on the top of the sweater, there's like a yellow uh, stripe and that has like little T-Rexes with, uh, I want to say Christmas, hat, yeah, little Santa hats on them. And then there's like a big image of like a, uh, of a T-Rex in the middle and he's breaking through a Christmas tree. He's got little lights in his mouth. And then the back of the sweater is his tail. Whew. I mean, Virgil Ibola, watch the fuck out. This guy's coming for you. Whoever made this, he's fucking coming for you, dude. You're going to be shaking in your boots. Let's see. Anything good. Anything good. This is basically what I do all day when I'm not doing the podcast uh, and not working. I'll just kind of go through all of these websites where I can spend my money and I'll just look at shit. So thanks for joining in that process. 
Coochie sweaters. Those aren't even Christmas sweaters. Psychedelic, authentic, rainbow color block. Kuji sweater marked as men's XL. This trippy, bright, and beautiful multicolor sweater is a typical Kuji statement. Just call it a Kuji sweater, bro. You're doing too much. That's a nice Kuji sweater. I here's the thing about Kuji sweaters. Um, my friends, uh, besides Lawrence and and Chris, because I do have other friends. I, I I I did. I was like jokingly saying like, oh, I should I should get a Kuji sweater, and they were like, bro, everybody's gonna think. You know, you, you just found out who Biggie Smalls was, which is not true. I know I've, I've known about Biggie Smalls since uh, the early 2000s, but I could not afford a Kuji sweater and now I can. So I was like, oh, maybe I should flex on him. Uh, and it's become a dilemma where uh, the, the Kuji sweater trend has been uh, taken over by uh, white kids in Brooklyn who have listened to biggie for the first time and it, it pains me it really does because it, that used to be a new york thing you know it used to be new york you used to have if you was if you had money in new york you buy yourself a coogee sweater not the case anymore ohio merry christmas and it's got like a little sylvester and tweety thing damn these th these sweaters I don't know. Yeah, I, I think we've talked about it earlier in the year, talking about uh, when Kith and uh, Looney Tunes did that collaboration. But there was an era. Looney Tunes had a fucking era, dude. 90s, early 2000s. You'd find every variation of a Bugs Bunny sweater. You'd have like Bugs Bunny um, fucking how he normally is. You'd have Bugs Bunny in um, in 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 gang attire have like you know like a oversized uh baseball jersey and like a and a snapback and sometimes he had a gun it didn't make any sense but every time i saw it like even when I, I was a little kid when i'd see these like these like uh these looney tune sweaters and i'd be like wow look at look at bugs being all tough and shit little did i know i mean that just there was trouble. There was trouble. Somebody with who was looking for trouble was wearing that that fucking shirt. And this brings me back. This brings me back to a lot of that. Hmm. A plus sweater. Twenty one dollars. Fucking definitely a plus. Cheap, good, high quality. I mean, actually, no. I have to take away some points. I forgot that it says Ohio in the corner. You could probably get rid of that, but you know, the fact that it's Ohio, you're gonna lose some point. I'm gonna say that's a that's a B minus. That's how bad Ohio is. As I I've uh I've gone on tour maybe once, not maybe once. I've only gone on tour once, in, doing comedy, and uh, I passed through Ohio once, and I had a miserable time just passing through. Just passing through Ohio makes you a sadder person. And if you live in Ohio and you're listening to this, I'm sorry, but you should uh, start working on an investment plan. Maybe maybe uh, sell some of your sneakers and move to another state. That's my suggestion. That's my Christmas gift to you, Ohioans. Do better. Get yourself a bot. I know we don't we don't like to talk about bots, about people getting bots, but maybe consider like maybe I'll 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 add an Ohio clause. Maybe I'll I'll pitch an Ohio clause to the podcast. That if you live in the city, if you live in a city in Ohio, you're allowed to have a bot, but only for the sole purpose of being able to accrue enough money to leave Ohio. And if you have enough money to leave Ohio, um, the bot shuts down and you have to you have to move out. God. I'm fuck, I'm spitting gold out here. Great ideas from Luke Trevisi. Oh, we're already at the end of the page. What's this? Vintage golf Christmas sweater crew neck. This is this is not bad. This is a very tasteful. Oh. Little yeah, okay. I see why it's a golf. Um it's a golf sweater. It's got uh like the the flags with the with like the one hole and the um it's like the one hole and the eighteenth hole for like, you know, like the little flag that sticks out of the the green, as it's called. Um, and then it's like I got a Christmas tree in the middle. 
and some some socks and shit. Some real Christmassy shit. That's a pretty classy sweater, all things considered. Nice tan color. Match with your new Mocha ones if you if you got it like that. Not bad. Not a bad sweater. Hmm. What's this one? Nice cream color. Season's greetings. Field Martins. Field Master? Damn, I can't see. I don't usually like to wear my, my glasses on the podcast, mostly because uh, they make me feel like a dork. Trying to keep up that image, you know? But, you know, we're out here. I wonder if there's a, a, a DBZ Christmas sweater. Let's look that up. Let's look at Dragon Ball Z Christmas sweaters. Christmas sweater. Bong, they already knew. Ooh, okay. Some real fucking ugly sweaters. Big Goku sweater. No. Goku's the worst character in Dragon Ball Z. Don't at me. Vegeta sweater. Terrible execution. Great character. I think I, I, as I get older, I become more and more of a Vegeta fan. I don't know about you guys. Uh, Vegeta's just the better. He's the be- He's got the better arc as a kid. The man did it, you know? He turned his life around. He went from being like a space Nazi type dude who was taking over planets for fucking Frieza. And uh, and he and then, you know, he turned into like a good guy who protects Earth. He's pretty chill, pretty chill dude overall. You know, a little bit of a temper tantrum every now and then. But he's a cool guy. He's a cool guy. Doesn't get enough love. Naruto sweater. Because, yeah, why not throw that in there? Final fa- Flash Christmas sweater. Oh, what is this? A Goku Vegeta dab Christmas sweater. You guys, I think I think we're done. I think this is the end of the episode right here. You can't top Goku and Vegeta dab Christmas sweater. There's nothing that could top that. Nothing DBZ related, at least. I don't know if there's, you know. I don't, I don't know. I don't think so. I'm seeing little Goku ones here and there. A Mr. Popo Christmas sweater? Problematic. <laughs> Let's move on. Okay, little South Park Christmas sweater. They're calling it Chibi, which I resent. Hold on, let me, let me get in here. Let me get the, a close-up on this shit. Yeah, they're calling it a, a Chibi sweater? First of all, this is, a, this is a T-shirt option, which defeats the entire purpose. Um, these... If you have a South Park Christmas, you have a South Park Dragon Ball Z Christmas sweater, it should only come in double XL. Uh, no offense to the big guys that listen to us, but uh, this that's a that's a a big sloppy guy move. You're like, I like South Park, I like I like Christmas, I like Dragon Ball Z. Let's put them all together. I hate that. I really do. I really hate that because South Park is not meant to be a aesthetically pleasing um, design. There wasn't like Virgil Abloh didn't sit down and and make that. Jerry Lorenzo didn't sit down and go, how how do we make the most aesthetic animated show of all time? That's not it. Akira Toriyama wasn't like, I'm going to you get the idea. It's not good. A Spider-Man Christmas sweater? Fucking Amazon been listening to me. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. No, I don't I don't want to donate. I'm sorry. This one's kind of cool. I mean, it's corny. Don't get me wrong. But it's like, if, if you're a comic book fan, it's the Todd McFarlane. Uh, it's the Todd McFarlane cover, uh, Spider-Man 301. He's got like him shooting web while he's like midair. That's like the the center design. And then it's got like Spider-Man's logo across the, like the 90s logo across the, uh, the middle. Little spiders on the top. And then on the bottom, little spider faces and web, web shooter thingies. I think that's it. I think that's, uh, that's all, all I can really give you today. Uh, thanks for coming and listening. 
I think we spent like a good 15, 20 minutes together. Appreciate you listening. Uh, go, go enjoy your family. Go, go, go call a loved one. Tell them what's up. Merry Christmas, all that. Or other happy holidays, all that. You know, stay inside, stay warm. Have some, uh, some Christmas pie or cake and eat your ham and relax. Open your gifts. Uh, I'm, I, for one, am uh, super excited for Christmas just to get it out of the way. I, I got a lot of gifts for people and I'm, uh, I just want to see their faces when they open them. All right. Listen, I'll, I'll catch you next time. If you fuck with this, let me know. I'll, I'll try to do more solo stuff. Give me topics and we'll, I'll go through them. If you want to send me, um, I don't know, uh, what'd you wear? You could send us that to that that email I said, or throw it in the Discord, and I'll start reviewing everybody's fits if that's what we want. Uh, okay, that's it. Take care, guys. Have a good one. Sup? No. Okay, it's a question. Sup? Sup? Not a real question, a rhetorical one. You have the answer. He does not.